ancient times, two brothers named Argo and Ares held prominent positions as gods. Argo, the eldest, was favored by many gods and goddesses, while Ares felt neglected and grew jealous over time. They encountered a goddess named Vesta, who captivated Argo with her power and beauty. On a fateful day, a grand banquet was held for the three conquerors, fellow gods and goddesses gathered, creating a joyful atmosphere. Feeling bold, meaningless celebration, Argo excused himself and stumbled upon an unfamiliar goddess named Cleo, who seemed to share his discontent. Argo engaged in a conversation with Cleo. As time went on, Ares became consumed by greed and jealousy leading to a rapture in the once unbreakable bond between the brothers. Conflicts arose and Vesta tried to mediate between them. Eventually, Argo, as the older brother, had no choice but to confront Ares and put an end to his madness. The two engaged in a fierce battle, their powers colliding and shaking the realm. In the end, Argo emerged victorious, and Ares, realizing the error of his ways, begged for forgiveness. Recognizing Vesta's true intentions, Argo cast a cursed spell, banishing her to the Forbidden Realm. After these tumultuous events, Argo reunited with Cleo, who had become his new lover and Ares. The three settled in the realm of Asgard, seeking peace and embarking on a new chapter together. Once upon a time, in the realm of Asgard, there lived a powerful man, Argo, with his loving wife, Cleo, and their three beautiful children, Amaya. The firstborn child, with a touch so light, could stir life essence day or night. Mortal beings, animals, and plants dance to the rhythm of her life's chance. Omisha, the second with a gaze so deep, held destinies in her hands to keep. She wove the threads of human's feet in a cosmic loop intricate and great. And more, the youngest, a late bloomer's tale, destined for death, yet her power failed, her potential a seed yet to be sown, in the realm of Asgard, her strength and One night during dinner, Argo, the patriarch, asked her daughters about the level of their powers. My daughters, how are your powers? Any accomplishments? Did you level up or has everything improved now? Father, mother, actually we were able to unlock Amaya or Misha one at a time. Amaya, you go first. Yes, mother, father. I was able to unlock the missions of the generals and higher ups because I fulfilled all the needed requirements. I am also grateful for my magic. Misha was there too. It's great to hear. Don't worry. The generals, your uncle, will keep you safe. Misha? Father, as my sister said, I was also accepted, and guess what? I can now foresee people's destiny, although it's a bit blurry. That's okay. At least you're making progress, right? I haven't fully explored my power because it's still so weak. How can I tell them this, especially with Father here? He's so intimidating. I hate this power. Mara, it's okay if you haven't fully used your power yet. Don't worry, your father won't get angry. I will not scold you. Just keep going, okay? Well, I think we should all go to bed now. We don't want to be late for our missions. What's wrong with the Mara? Powerful. Slow down, you two. Are you ready? Yes, Father! Uncle, are we going now? You said your goodbyes to your mother and sister. 
Oh yeah, where's mother? I'm here, so how are you living now? Oh, Aris, drop the form, Mommy. Just make sure my daughters are safe, okay? Don't worry, darling. He's a tough man. Where's Mara? Mara? She said she's not feeling well. She's sorry she couldn't be here to see her sister so. Sorry, mother and father. Mara can handle herself. And we're sorry we couldn't say goodbye to him. Don't worry. I'll let her know you wish her away. Let's go now. Step for adventure. Bye, mother. Bye, father. Mara's missing. Mara! My daughter! It's my really daughter. daughter! It's I really you! I miss so much, my dear! I... Are you enjoying being with your father and my your husband daughter. Or are they treating you poorly? Just tell I... me how you feel and I'll help you! What mother? What hap? What snatch? <laughs> oh! I let them child! I'm so impressed. Yes, dear. I'm your real mother, Vesta. Look at yourself and me. Did you find any similarities? You're joking, right? You're just a witch in this forest. No, my dear. This is where I've been living for so many years. Since the curse implicated by your father. You know? So I won't be able to destroy everything that your father planned with his new family. But he has no idea that before he cursed me, I already swapped his youngest daughter, the real Mara, with you in secret. The real Mara has the power of love, but it's useless. It doesn't matter because with life and destiny, it's looming to destroy everything. A story without an enemy is boring, right, Mara? What did you do to love? Are you now suspecting and accusing your real mother? I did not kill the child. From the beginning, she was already very weak, away from her mother's embrace. She became weaker and turned purple. So weak that I hate it. All, All I've done so let was her to let her in peace. So weak like Cleo. It's time to awaken, awaken your, your power. power. You will be the most powerful. Let us join together to finally destroy that Asgard family who have caused so much pain to me. You've, You've been, been wanting, wanting to, activate to activate your powers, powers for, a very, for right? a very long time. So prepare. Right? So prepare yourself and join me in destroying our enemies. Life and destiny have strange feelings towards you. Don't you know? They somewhat felt like darkness brewing inside you, but you've hidden it meticulously. The Asgard's family was having a picnic outside their mansion when Omisha suddenly called Mara's name. Surprised by her action, everyone looked at her as she continued to utter. Mara, don't tell me she has been in cursed realm. Vesta? Vesta? The daughter of Hades? Ha ha ha! Just like I thought, she's not from the mother's womb. From the very beginning, she has that darkness that surrounds you. Don't tell me Vesta is your concubine! Oh my darling! Argo, are you hurt? If it was me, I would never hurt you. I would love you instead, you know? So cheap and so disgusting for you to say that in front of my mother. Mother, I am now accomplished and upgraded my power. Are you not happy about it? Are you not satisfied with my success? Mara! How did you end up being at a cursor? My sisters forced me to go there. All I wanted is to be like them, but they do not care about me. Feeling my predicament, my mother guided me to go there. We did not force you. Why are you accusing us of your lies and jealousy? Do we look like we've wronged you? I didn't mean to. Shut up, you useless nebo for being you destroyed the image of our family in front of our beloved father. My darling Argo, don't you remember our two friends together? I don't know what you're talking about. What? 
What is she talking about? Please, I go, my beloved God. All I wanted is for us to be together. And to stop this pointless fight and come back to me. What's the use of you to be my wife again? You are irrelevant to me. How long did the two of you been together? For the billions of years of devoting my love for you, you still cheated. Is this how you repay me for my loyalty? It was a mistake. She seduced me. How dare you slap my beloved husband? This is hilarious to think that great brother of mine cannot handle such small sin. Never mind if all of you now realize everything. I knew this day would come. And for starters, yes, I've planned this all along. Well, let, let's cut the chase. Bow down to your new king. <laughs>